Tide of Time by Vladimir Kush The current of time is represented as an hourglass. The upper cone could be interpreted as the future, which reveals itself to those in love, while the lower vessel presents itself as the past memories that tie the lovers together. The convergence of the past with the future is represented by the point between the two cones. Going from this point, one can reach the accessible future, and it is vibrant. In Roman mythology, Janus was the god of exits and entrances. He was depicted as having two faces pointed in opposite directions. From this comes the phrase two-faced. His duality was explained by the fact that doors can lead in or out. He also knew both the past and the future. And at the end of all metaphors, find a map of those vague spheres that we are calling time, which we use to measure a chain of shadows and dilapidated marble gravestones and change of generations and dynasties and clans. Time measures all, even a sound and an echo, everything that two-faced Janus could see by using his four eyes, the golden worlds and worlds of silver and continuous vigil of constellations. Jorge Luis Borges. We only see what has already happened, what was the future, ripens and drips onto the bottom of time's hourglass. Features and shapes, once so familiar, have dropped to the bottom of my soul, where they are enveloped in blue haze and have become blurry and indistinguishable within the depths of the past. But the sun shines from afar, transcending murky nostalgia it stirs hope for the future, filling it with light.